What is going on YouTube? Today we are back and it's going to be a really exciting day because I just got some new scooter parts and we're going to throw those on the scoot after we unbox it. And then after all that, we're going to the skate park to test it out, see how good it actually is. The de the... <laughs> all right, let's get everything set up and then we'll get to unboxing it. So let's go. All right, so this deck is the 5x19.5 boxed rapture pro scooters deck as far as i'm aware no one's made any type of unboxing or review on this deck yet i believe chase made a video kind of announcing it and just kind of showing it off a little bit but we're gonna get into actually what it looks like unboxing it and obviously riding it so starting off uh this right here was taped together um so i took it off because it was like a shipping label as well at the same time so i didn't really want to leak my address so First things first, the box is a little bit torn up. Obviously, I doubt they did that. It was probably in shipping, so I'm not too worried about it. I, I'm sure the deck's fine. So, let's open it up. All right, so here we go. We got a sticker. We have the foam over the head tube. Um, I've actually gotten decks before where the head tube right here was like bent in, and so I couldn't get my headset in there. I had to like tap it out, which I mean, it wasn't a big deal, but kind of a hassle. We also have some clear grip in here. I ordered it uninstalled because I don't, know, I don't mind installing grip tape and I'm cheap. We also have this nice little packet here with a Rapture wristband. Shout out Rapture. Let's take this thing off. I'm about to test my public speaking skills right here. Rapture Pro Scooters. Handpicked and packaged by Chase Frost. Thanks, Chase. So I also would like to mention right now, this video is in no way, shape, or form sponsored by Rapture. They don't even know I'm making it. I actually DM'd Chase, um, and I was like, hey, I just got my new deck, and there's no review videos on YouTube. Do you want me to make a review video? And then I deleted it. I'm actually curious, did you get the notification? Like, did you see it at all before I deleted it? Just let me know in the comments. Or don't, you know, it's up to you. We actually have a bunch of stickers. So we have two of these, one of these, Another one that's basically the same, putting this wristband on. All right. Now for what you guys have all been waiting for. This thing looks sick. Dude, this thing is fire. First things first, we got a pretty standard steel brake here. Pretty standard three mil bolt. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little disappointed by three mil bolts. But realistically, that's not a selling point on the deck. If you if you hate three mil bolts that much, you can always like drill a hole and put another one in, like a like a fusion break the bolts from the bottom, or I don't know. You can do a lot of different things to stop it. I need to take the axle off. My tools are in the car. Tools. That was aggressive. All right, I'm just. Yep. Yeah, you can definitely run wider wheels on here if you're one of those type of people. All right, it does have a sound dampener thingy. So one thing you guys can see here is that the nut is actually like welded to it. So you don't have to worry about like getting some type of wrench up in the deck to tighten it. These are actually sick. I'm really stoked about these dropouts because I have the native stem deck. That's the only other box deck I have. And um, that does not have the like peg style dropouts. It's just kind of normal like box stems. And, um, but right here, like if the deck were to extend out right here, this piece would bend up. Anyway, let's get the scale out. 3.133. 3.135. So, that's actually pretty dang light for a fatty box deck. All right, so I set everything on there just to see how much it weighs after hardware. And it equates to 3.58 pounds. Real quick, something to note is that the brake actually makes like a quarter pound of that weight. So if you take it off or run a different brake, it might be a little bit less or it will be a little bit less, but... I don't fingerprints under my clear grip, you know what I mean? I can sticker bomb it underneath the clear, which would be sick. And I am slowly really, 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 really wanting to do that. But I don't know if I will. I don't know what I want to do. This is going to look insane. Let's slap the clear sheet on. Oh, uh, let's go. I really don't think that transition works. So we're... All right, let's put the brake on. Oh, hey, I found it. This is the final product. The Rapture Pro Scooters. Five wide box deck. Head tube looks so sick. It's pretty light. And um, the dropouts are super easy to put in and they look super good. I'm really excited to ride. So 
You know what we're about to do? Go to the skate park. Let's go, baby. Stay hydrated, guys. We are at the park right now. Ryan, say what's up to the YouTube. What up? Let's go. Justin, what's good? What's poppin'? He's got the Rapture deck, too. His setup's gonna look way cleaner than mine, but it's okay. Drop test. Not perfect. Nice, bro. All right, I just got it all waxed up, set together. Yeah, I haven't done any single trick on it whatsoever, so you're gonna see that right now. pretty light and uh yeah it was really comfortable so thumbs up jackson where'd you go jackson's laughing at me because i just ate it on this thing <laughs> but um you know it's okay first impressions though it's pretty good i'm really i think it's a v6 i'm really rocking with it right now i'm not gonna lie it feels really good feels really comfortable um, I'm gonna have to get used to the weight just a little bit, but it doesn't feel bad. It's just kind of like it's just heavier, but it's not like off balance or anything, which is nice. Justin, what? What do you think yes. of your deck? I love it. It's the same one, so you know. Yeah, so we're gonna go to street, probably do some like five O's and stuff because I don't normally do them too much because I don't ride a box deck. That's pretty much all there is to it. Let's go. All right, so we're out front at Rowan. Uh, I just did some park tricks. I did a rail, uh, the rainbow rail in the park. And now I'm about to try this rail that I haven't touched since I landed it, but it was like early this year, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna try it again. There's the rail. There's also a cop right over there. And uh, yeah, I don't know what he's gonna say about this rail, but it is what it is. Let's go, Chris. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna see if I can kick it with flat this thing. We'll see how it goes. Oh my God. Okay, well, I landed it. Well, right. Okay. I can rock with that. There's a lot of things I didn't talk about or didn't mention. Um, the video was filmed very spontaneously, as you guys can tell. But one of the things I did to reduce the weight just, just a little bit was put a fusion brake on. I didn't try any 5-0 tricks because I just got too hooked on doing that rail out front, which I'm really happy with. I only got one street clip for YouTube, but there's a bunch up on my Instagram, so I'll link that right here. Right. Mm. I don't even know, bro. Somewhere, just like, you know what I mean? Somewhere. I don't really know, but Instagram. Overall, it's a really good deck, especially for those who want to switch from park to street, or at least try street, and without sacrificing... Um, you know, just some of the good things about a park deck, like the size, the weight, etc. I also really like the head tube angle. It's 93 degrees. Me personally, I find that easier for tricks like quad with flat, which I haven't tried on this deck yet. So stay tuned on the Instagram for that one because I will be trying it soon. So overall, I really liked it and um, hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one. Adios, mis amigos. Lately I've been losing my mind, drawing pictures of fire in my heart.